It was a special homecoming out at Port Columbus late this afternoon. As Chris Tui reports, a Reynoldsburg teenager is back home tonight after a near-fatal car ride last fall. <laughs> Friends and relatives of former Bishop Hartley High School student Kevin Burdick turned out in force to welcome him home. Kevin's beaming face shows no trace of his dire situation last fall. For almost five months, Kevin was bedridden thanks to a near-fatal car accident. Paralyzed from the neck down, he needed a machine to keep breathing. A special hospital in Denver seemed like the only hope, but there was no way the Burdicks could afford the $6,000 trip. But thanks to some string pulling by a few Columbus officials, Burdick was taken to Denver on a medevac hospital plane. And because Kevin's dad is a former Marine, it didn't cost a cent. Three months later, Kevin has made remarkable progress. He has uh, learned to use uh, what he has, and that is his uh, great mind. And he's learned how to use the uh, mouse stick on typing. He has a special sip and puff chair that he can operate all by himself. One of these days, you'll see him go down Livingston Avenue, probably. <laughs> in, um, High Street. <laughs> in High Street. <laughs> when he left, Berta couldn't be off his respirator for more than a few seconds. Now he can go three and a half hours, and that should increase every day. But for now, he's just glad to be back home. I got more friends than I really thought I did. I'm glad they all came out. How do you feel? <laughs> Terrified. <laughs> entirely on his own. So Kevin went to Denver, Colorado to a hospital there for special treatment. He made a lot of progress very quickly, allowing him to come home sooner than expected. He was overwhelmed by the crowd that greeted him at the airport. When Kevin left Columbus, he couldn't be off the respirator for more than a few seconds. Now he can go several hours without using it. Kevin's parents are trying to raise $10,000 to pay for a special wheelchair that will give Kevin more mobility and independence.